Diddy made a lot of people mad and upset, and he may be losing some of his power. Diddy is facing a difficult scenario as issues are encroaching on him. In the last two weeks, shocking accusations have surfaced, exposing a darker side of him. In addition, he is having financial problems as a result of several litigation. Therefore, it wasn't entirely shocking to see pictures of the rapper looking like he's losing it. It seems like Diddy's reputation in the hip-hop world is eroding. To exacerbate the situation, he lost his job at Revolt TV. That's not the end, though. Several of his supporters think that he will bankrupt himself shortly because all of his sponsors, partners, and affiliated brands are rapidly severing their links with him. It seems that Diddy is now being held responsible for his deeds by Karma. He is suing them for $1 million, and the complaint involves marketing personnel. According to a recent article that went viral and sparked conversations online, Diddy settled his lawsuit with Cassie for a whooping $100 million, not the $30 million that was previously believed. Following the case's settlement, a number of other controversies have surfaced, seemingly bringing Diddy's once dominant empire to an end. There are rumors that Diddy is no longer a billionaire since he gave Cassie an astounding $100 million. It is said that Diddy's standing as a billionaire has changed as a result of paying the large settlement price. Forbes pegged Diddy's net worth at $1 billion prior to the settlement. However, Diddy's net worth is rumored to have dropped to $900 million after giving his ex-boyfriend approximately 10% of his fortune. Diddy's career was put in jeopardy by the lawsuit involving Cassie which included claims of aggression against LGBTQ plus groups and general wrongdoing. Cassie is currently forbidden by the settlement from sharing the details of their relationship in a different development. A third woman has filed a lawsuit, alleging that singer-songwriter Aaron Hall and scene Diddy Combs assaulted her and a friend in New York City more than 30 years ago. This case follows two others that were brought under the Adult Survivors Act and were filed under the same statute, which expired on Friday. One against Combs for S assault in 1991 and another that was just settled involving R and A 50 Cent has been continuously bashing Diddy, which has fueled the flames even more. Diddy recently shared something on Instagram that has gone viral. Posting an image of Diddy, 50 Cent wrote, after S assault suits, is Seen Combs' brand and empire in danger? No, he will be fine, was the caption added to the photo. He is extremely wealthy. He'll merely dig into his pockets to make it happen if his corporate partners back out. Observed how quickly he paid Cassie. He truly is a billionaire. He's got your money, people. F you then. Diddy did it. It's almost here. 50 Cent made it plain that he would be more than happy to take over once it was officially announced that Diddy was leaving his position as chairman of Revolt. On his Instagram, he posted a photo of Diddy with the caption, Diddy reportedly takes a temporary leave as chairman of Revolt amidst his assault lawsuits. I'll buy that from you, Playboy, for the low, the caption said, because you know Cadillac and At and T gonna pull out. I'll give you a couple of bucks right now. Once you sell it to me, we can become buddies. I'm not kidding, give me a call. 50 Cent employs a more calculated approach, meticulously selecting his targets and providing clear justifications for each choice. He obviously knows about Diddy's darker side, which the world is only now learning about. Despite the fact that Diddy and Cassie's lawsuit settlement was $100 million, there are rumors that the images of Diddy appearing upset were faked in an attempt to appease the public. Diddy can no longer fool the public, though. On Instagram, Diddy shared a photo with the caption, Enough is enough for the last couple of weeks. I have watched in silence while others have attempted to undermine my legacy, my reputation, and my integrity. Those seeking a fast cash have made some horrifying accusations about me. Allow me to be clear, none of the horrible acts that were said to have been done by me. I'll stand up for the truth, my family, and my name. Suspicions are raised by the fact that Diddy settled the lawsuit barely a day after Cassie filed it. 
One could expect him to see the trial through to the end and demonstrate his innocence in public if he was genuinely certain of his innocence. It's possible that Cassie was trying to keep quiet and stop her from speaking further by settling so soon. It strengthens the idea that Diddy may be acting with dubious intentions. As to insiders claims, Diddy may have lost a significant amount of money, roughly $200 million, due to lawsuits, particularly those involving Cassie. A lot of people believe that 50 Cent could come in because of this financial situation. Not to point fingers, but Diddy appears to be in a difficult situation and is making an effort to resolve things quietly. But it's possible that he lacks the resources necessary to deal with everyone who is against him. More people are coming out with accusations against him, despite the fact that he swiftly rejected the case and the advice of his legal staff. The rest of the charges, according to his legal team, are untrue because they think the victims are attempting to gain financial advantages. They claimed, these are late filed, fabricated claims that falsely allege misconduct from over 30 years ago. This is just a money grabbing scheme. Mr. Combs' success and notoriety make him a prime target for unsanctioned accusers who willfully lie to deceive him in order to gain financial advantage. They have individuals who will work behind the scenes to discredit anyone who is suing them. Many fans now think that the reason the victims have come forward is because Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy, a well-known hip-hop mogul, has given the other victims confidence and fortitude. Even though Diddy and his legal team make an effort to remain composed, they appear concerned about these lawsuits. As they attempt to keep further humiliating information from becoming public, Diddy's money is running low. A few months ago, Diddy's former security gene deal disclosed that Diddy was receiving millions from the musicians he signed to his record company. He labeled Diddy a phony and demanded that he reimburse the artist for his debt. Although Diddy frequently tries to project a positive image in interviews, Gene has already disclosed the real Diddy behind the scenes. Gene has made a lot of himself known, and another lawsuit has surfaced, alleging that Diddy and Harvey Pierre the former head of Bad Boy Records, were both accountable for the same acts. More issues arise since Diddy's entire corporate empire is being attacked in addition to himself. In order to stop Combs from serving as the spokesperson for Delium Tequila, Diageo used allegations of sexual assault against Combs's former partner, Seen Diddy Combs, in a letter to a New York court. Diageo has filed an appeal in the ongoing legal battle between the two to send the matter to arbitration. A ruling is anticipated in the spring. Diageo voiced worry that if Combs keeps pushing it, the charges against him would have a serious and long-lasting effect on De Leon. They cited a New York Times story in which Combs' attorney claimed that Cassie had pressed Combs for $30 million in exchange for the latter's silence on the assault claims. Diageo emphasized that this time span aligned with the duration of Combs' Wine's initial legal action against Diageo. Seen Diddy Combs is currently suing Diageo, a sizable alcohol corporation, alleging racial discrimination against his tequila and vodka trademarks. According to Diddy, Diageo portrayed the Leon tequila and Ciroc vodka as being associated with black people. Diddy's attorneys contend in the New York Supreme Court complaint that Diageo disregarded these trademarks and damaged their attractiveness by designating them as urban. Additionally, Diddy has charged Diageo with damaging his De Leon tequila brand by employing subpar packaging that gave the product a cheap appearance. He says Diageo gave more resources and attention to other celebrity brands, such as George Clooney's Casamigos tequila. Clooney's Casamigos, which acquired Diageo in 2017 for $1 billion, is currently the best-selling tequila brand in the United States and accounts for a sizable portion of tequila sales at U.S. retail establishments. But a lot of people think Diageo is hesitant to advertise Diddy's tequila and vodka brands because of the recent legal actions against him. When we put the pieces together, it all makes sense which is why Diageo isn't preferring Diddy to market and promote Ciroc, Calms Wines and Spirits, and Diageo partnered equally in 2007. Due to the brand's success, 
Diageo, and Combs Company bought Deli and Tequila together in 2013. One of the more than 200 brands owned by London-based Diageo, a sizable publicly traded drinks firm, is Don Julio Tequila. In response, Diageo described the incident as a business dispute. They declared, we take great pride in our unwavering commitment to diversity both within our organization and in the communities we serve. We vehemently refute the accusations made and we will mount a strong defense in the proper forum. The business claimed that over the past 15 years, it and Combs have had a fruitful and advantageous working partnership. They emphasized the significant financial investments made over this period, which have benefited all parties. They added, Mr. Combs has chosen to harm a fruitful and value partnership. We are disappointed that our efforts to resolve this business dispute have been ignored amicably. Even though we value Mr. Combs as a creative and businessman, we don't think his accusations are credible, and we're sure the evidence will clear him of receiving fair treatment. The attorneys representing Combs are seeking a court order to guarantee fair treatment, arguing that Diageo was required to do so under the terms of their partnership agreement. In addition, they are claiming Diageo's purported negligence and agreement violations as grounds for billion-dollar damages in other court cases. The $22.75 billion in revenue that Diageo produced in 2022 serves as an indicator of its dominance. This indicates that Diddy would have to pay a large sum of money for the harm he has done to the company's reputation should the lawsuit against the massive corporation fail, which would leave Diddy bankrupt. For a long time, many fans have expressed concern over rumors involving Diddy and have wished for justice to win out. It appears that Diddy will now finally face consequences for his deeds and the harm he has inflicted on other people. Diddy did not spare his ex-wife Kim Porter, whose cause of death has long been unknown, as many people have known. There is now a limit to the amount of lawsuits filed against Diddy and the woman he mistreated. Numerous women have voiced their concerns about the harm he has done to others, particularly to Kim, a friend of Kimora Lee's. But the story doesn't end here. Diddy has attempted to silence a lot of ladies, but he doesn't appear to be able to stay in the business for very long. A user said, Anybody who does anything similar to what's going with Diddy or breaks the law in any other way, whether you're an artist, entertainer, or just regular people, it will come back and bite you. Your identity won't stop it. There is no term for karma. Clearly, I doubt Puffy is broke, but I'm thrilled to see that after all these years, the public is finally against him, said another user. Lastly, I say more power to Cassie and all the others pursuing him for the shady things he's done to them. That's it for the video folks for today. I'm grateful to them. 